Chapter 2 has two main sections plus an important additional section that can be found and read on the book's open access website. The additional section on the website has a brief survey of how strategic management has developed and changed over time. This can be useful in making sense of strategic management, which is still a young subject by academic standards. Let me briefly summarise this web material. The roots of strategic management lie partly in economic theories, especially those about the firm. But they also derive from human resource theories, especially those associated with motivation and leadership. Strategic management, as a separate academic discipline, really only began to emerge in the 1960s and 1970s. What all this means is that there is still no clear body of accepted academic knowledge, unlike, for example, mathematics or mechanical engineering. And that's why you still have different views, even today, on how to develop effective strategy. And equally, that's why we have both prescriptive and emergent approaches to strategy development. The book's website also has other strategy material. There's a free film that explains and analyzes the strategies of two major international companies in the market for breakfast cereals you'll find that this will help you understand and develop business strategy. The Open Access website also has a checklist of seven questions to help choose between prescriptive and emergent strategy, or perhaps choose both. And there's a strategy case study also on the web on the Virgin Group, with indicative answers to the case questions after you have read the case. Now we turn to the book chapter itself. First, there is a more in-depth look at prescriptive and emergent strategy. Second, there is a section that summarizes four main strategy theories associated with the prescriptive strategy process, and then four with the emergent process. Let's look in-depth at prescriptive and emergent strategies. Prescriptive strategy essentially takes an analysis of the environment surrounding an organization. It then examines the resources of the organization, particularly those that provide competitive advantage. Prescriptive strategy then considers the purpose and objectives of an organization. This is called the strategic analysis phase and it's covered in chapters 3, 4, 5 and 6. The next step in prescriptive strategy is to generate some strategic options to achieve the purpose of the organization. Having done this, a choice is then made between these options. This part of prescriptive strategy is called the strategy development phase and is covered in chapters 8, 9 and 10. Finally, the plans that have been developed must be put into practice. This is called strategy implementation and is explored in chapters 12, 13, 14 and 15. By contrast, an emergent strategy is different. It begins in the same way with the strategic analysis phase, but then, instead of making a choice between options, it keeps the various options open. It experiments to find which option is best. It privileges innovation and learning. It's more open and indeterminate. This makes for greater uncertainty, but this uncertainty can be studied. All this is explained in chapters 7, 11 and 12. Finally, even these two broad headings, prescriptive and emergent strategy, do not capture fully the many strategic management theories that have been developed in recent years. Chapter 2 reviews four theories within the umbrella of prescriptive strategy. These four theories are number one, industry and environment based theories, number two, resource based theories, number three, game based theories, and number four, cooperation and network-based theories. The chapter then reviews another four theories linked to emergent strategy. These are number one, survival-based theories, 
Number two, uncertainty-based theories. Number three, human resource-based theories. And number four, innovation and knowledge-based theories. All these theories, prescriptive and emergent, have benefits and weaknesses. And you can read more about each of them in Chapter 2 itself. <laughs>